So can you guys see both these pictures? Now, fossilized cyanobacteria are called stromatolites. So another technical term, stromatolites. Okay. And basically what that means is these guys are so small, they've been squished into the rocks and they look like squished mats. And scientists found that, oh, in Western Australia, they looked at these rocks and using various technologies, they found out when these guys existed and concluded that, okay, in fact, these are the oldest living organisms to be known. So to recap, oldest, the first life forms on Earth were cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria are a type of algae, right? And fossilized cyanobacteria were first found in Australia, okay? And they're the oldest fossils. And fossilized cyanobacteria are called stromatolites. This is a recap. Everyone catch that? Okay. Yes. All right. So that brings us to our lesson, microorganisms. Yeah, plants are organisms, but not microorganisms. Okay. We are also organisms, right? Yes. We're living. So living, living things are organisms and microorganisms basically that are it cannot be seen. Okay, yeah, so let's move on. What are microorganisms? So yes, I have given a definition of a microorganism. If you you guys can use mine or you guys can use your own, that's fine. As long as it has some keywords in the definition, uh, you guys are fine to change my definition up. So. Well, I guess microscopic is a big word you probably will need in the definition. Microorganisms, remember, they tend to be single celled. Usually, majority, in fact, most of the 99% probably are single celled. Right? Those that are not, you can maybe go and look into that later on. But for an art, maybe a convenience, we'll just keep them single celled. Some do tend to form colonies, but again, individually, they're just one cell. Even though they form a colony individually, they're one cell. Now, the study of microorganisms is called microbiology. Is anyone interested in microbiology? Does anyone want to pursue microbiology from here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just one yes, no one else. You are now unmuted. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. What was the question? Okay, okay, let's see. You are see. now muted. Start a poll. Let's take a poll. Ma'am, what was the question? The question is, would you like to pursue microbiology in the future? Right. Okay, moving on. There are four major groups of microorganisms. Now, I've given you guys the answer. I know some of the words are confusing. We will not be getting into details in today's class. But for naming them, uh, let me just start out with bacteria. So bacteria, I'm sure everyone has heard of. Algae, maybe some of you have heard of algae. Fungi, another common one. Yes. Don't confuse with mushrooms. We'll look at that later again. And protozoans, right? I guess this is the big one. I don't think many have heard of the word protozoans. May I tell you something? Yes, go ahead. If anyone has an open balcony uh, mm -hmm. and taps in that, uh, we can get algae. Like, we also have an open balcony, so we get algae every time we go outside. From the, from the tap? Yes, from the water. You get algae from the water? Coming back to microorganisms, microorganisms are found everywhere. So this slide is correct. You do find microorganisms in the soil, in tundra, in the desert, hot springs, even in your body, right? What's the meaning um, of tundra? Tundra, right? So if you go to the Antarctic or the Arctic, it's basically cold, those icy areas uh, on yeah. Earth. 
right those extremely cold icy oh, regions yeah the coldest places okay thank you no worries ma'am what are oh. hot springs hot springs okay hot springs are so usually near volcanoes maybe near volcanoes they tend to form near volcanoes they're just how can i explain this um it's basically just natural hot water it's like a natural hot pool it's all naturally formed now we're going to move on to the summary we are going to look into this particular slide in depth in next class so don't worry about that maybe you could do some more research and bring in points as well uh this is a quick slide for summary which i guess we don't have to cover because we have done everything quite in depth already so make sure this is for your studying uh this is like a study aid for you guys okay so just before the quiz if you don't have too much time just look at the summary slide that brings me no to my last slide yet. which is no questions no okay now before i go to questions i'm going to show you what your assignment is so this one is i think this one is created let me check it out so we have to create a presentation and show you yeah okay so let me get to that so this is optional this everyone has to do sorry this everyone has to do Okay. Okay. And uh, I'm going to share another screen now. Another doubt. Yes, go ahead. We have to write about all the four types or only one of the uh, four? Well, as much, all the four types. Like, I need okay. you to at least try. Okay. Like the algae, fungi, and whatever that uh, protozoans. That Bacteria, algae, protozoans, and fungi. So I have yes. to create okay, a let me about them. Give me one second. You are now on. Can you guys see the screen here? Yeah, it's loading. Yes. You can. Okay, so can you guys see this? Uh, this whole area. Yes, we can see. Okay, so this is your this is the PPT presentation that I just covered today. This is the quiz that all of you have to attempt. Um, this is another assignment: research and look into the following two topics. So let's look into the following two topics. The following two topics are the the PPT did not have the first one because it's optional, but I recommend you guys do it. Second one is compulsory. How do microorganisms uh, survive in harsh conditions? So both we have to do, like both topics. Both topics, yeah. History of the microscope and how do microorganisms survive in harsh conditions.